What's going on beautiful people? Welcome to We Teach AI Designs. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use prompts that's gonna turn your images landscape and vertical. Let's dive right into it. So let's say we wanna go ahead and create an image and we wanna make sure it takes up the full screen. Um, we want to go ahead and, and this is horizontal. This is, uh, you know, uh, just in case you want to create a slideshow or you want to um, kind of scale it up to be able to fit like a TV screen or uh, make a, you know, a landscape image. So we're going to go ahead and put a prompt in. We're going to go ahead and do forward slash um, imagine like we normally would with any image. So we're going to go ahead and freestyle, uh, freestyle something here. So we'll say uh, stunning grandmother holding a camera big eyes color full background now, as we know, the standard size is going to be the square uh, image, the square size. So if we want to be able to change this, we want to be able to, uh, we have to prompt it. We have to uh, put the code in. So what we're going to do is we're going to click, we're going to make sure that space, you see how we got that, that comma there. We're going to put a space there. We're going to hit dash dash a R and hit space three colon two all right so that's dash dash a r space three semicolon two all right we're gonna allow that to go ahead and and and, and do its thing we're gonna do the same thing uh with another prompt and we're gonna do it in portrait mode let's say we want to use these images for tiktok we want to use instagram reels um we want to make some cool videos visuals all of that good stuff so we want to make sure that we fill up the the full uh full screen or it, this is even good for for portraits you know if you want to uh print out a picture so let's go ahead and do uh uh it's gonna prompt it just like we normally do what imagine uh stunning uh grand mother holding a camera big eyes and muted background except for we are going to hit dash dash a r space two semicolon three space again after the comma after the last after background we have dash dash we have excuse me we have a space after the comma dash dash ar two semicolon three we're gonna go ahead and click that all right perfect so as you see what we prompted before um the uh, horizontal image kind of get an idea of what it looks like here so it's far from square we have a nice uh, horizontal image to whereas we can then upscale whichever one we would like let's say we wanted to keep like that first or that second one the fingers aren't even on um, so bad on these uh, fortunately uh, we can go ahead and upscale it and then we can actually um, you know make sure we size it uh, inside of a tool like Canva we're gonna show you how to do that uh, right here all right, so our verticals are done. So let's take a look at it. Perfect. So this is using the code AR, excuse me, dash dash AR space two semicolon three. So you see the differences, it's far from squares. It gives you a good um, concept to be able to uh, fill up the screen in regards to uh, if you want to use it for social media, if you want to use it for TikTok, if you want to just simply uh, do a print. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead and we're going to upscale uh, one of our one of our images that we like. I think we like the uh, let's do the oh my god those fingers. Okay, so let's do the bottom bottom right here. We're going to go ahead and upscale that. 
And for our horizontal, we're going to pick one with not so terrible finger placement. I like that top left one. But you know what? The bottom right one isn't bad, too. I like the bottom right. Okay, so U4 for both of them. Perfect. So we're going to upscale those and then we're going to toss these inside Canva to further upscale them. So that way we can make sure that they fit. We, we can test and make sure that they fit the sizes, both for uh, TikTok and for uh, creating thumbnails, YouTube videos, or just horizontal uh, presentations. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we're over in Canva and we're going to go with our landscape image first. So we're gonna, we've uploaded into Canva here. And as you see, uh, it's right here in the middle. So we want to go ahead and click Shift and Option to be able to scale it all at once. And there it looks like there is gonna be some cropping. You can leave it right there, or you can kind of just extend the sides here. Look like we're gonna lose a little headroom. Got some camera in there, we got some headroom, or we can always just double click it, decide which part we want. I think we we're gonna leave it right here in the middle, right there. And that is how you would scale it up to uh, actual TV, um, uh, any type of horizontal uh, image. So let's jump right in and try to go ahead and uh, do a vertical just for, you know, stories, reels, however. Let's go ahead and click our vertical image here. We're gonna do the same thing. You can click shift and option if you have a Mac, but let me just show you how to just go ahead and scale it up here. Just pull it up, pull it up. So we get to the to the middle. Canva is really good as far as grids go. Extend the sides. We want to go ahead and bring it to the bottom. Double click it. Make sure we're right here in the center. And bam, you have uh, you know the sides are cropped you know there is going to be some croppage going on but you have a good great dynamic image right in in the center uh something that you can do a before and after something that you could add music you can add words you can uh do so many different things in regards to uh showcasing your uh your work All right, so I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give me a like, give me a subscribe, and I would love for you to leave a comment and just let me know uh, if you have any other questions about Mid Journey, any settings, any issues that you're having. I'd be glad to help and create a video just for you. Until next time, y'all. Peace.